Super Seniors Week, and today we're talking about great places to retire. Here with all the info is Travel and Leisure's Editorial Director, Nina Ruggiero. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Nina, take me away. <laughs> Where are we going first? Well, finding a place to retire can be such an incredible adventure, and we really recommend traveling to the places that you're considering first, spending some time there, getting to know them before you commit. Seeing how you like the lay of the land. Yeah, if, exactly. it, speak, if it speaks to you. Yes, and you'll want to think about cost of living, access to health care, yes. transportation options, but also what are your passions and what really matters to you? Do you mm. want outdoor activity to stay healthy? Yes. Do you want cultural happenings to keep your mind sharp? Are you someone who's always planning their next meal and the culinary scene mm. is really important. Yeah. Okay. All right. So take us through your list. You've compiled some yeah. great places. Yes. So first of all, we have Santa Fe, New Mexico. Love. We do love, love Santa yeah. Fe, New Mexico. You have natural beauty, outdoor adventure, southwestern charm, adobe architecture, and an incredible art scene. Almost 300 art galleries, many of them along the very walkable Canyon Road. I know you said you've been there. Yes, Maybe you've we know walked it well. Canyon yeah, Road. We have. Um, the outdoor Santa Fe Opera. And when it comes to outdoor activities, you have hiking, biking, rock climbing, fly fishing, and even skiing in the winter. We got lost in Santa Fe on a hike. We did, we got lost in Santa Fe. We yeah. thought it was gonna be our final hike, but also great food there. Yes, great amazing food. food. Yeah. Um, number two, Greenville, South Carolina. Greenville, South Carolina. South Carolina. Yeah. So Everyone loves Greenville. Yeah. This is a, another option for outdoors enthusiasts. It's nestled right up against the Blue Ridge Mountains. Mm. It has access to state parks, Blue Ridge Parkway, mm. great for hiking, camping, beautiful waterfalls. It also has James Beard award-winning restaurants, a lively downtown with live music and markets, and affordable housing, mm. but it's rapidly growing in popularity. Oh, so, so get in now. So get in there quick. Yeah, click. got it. All right, what's next? Next, we have Torrance, California. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is one of the more expensive places on our list. However, what's more valuable than your health? It was named one of the healthiest places to live in California. Oh. There are two major hospitals, but it also has that real outdoor, year-round, active California lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You have beautiful hiking paths in the Cliffs of Palos Verdes next door. You have great golf courses, Redondo Beach next door. You could take up sailing or join a classic car club like Garage 77. And you're only about 12 miles south of LAX, so if you're looking to spend your time in traveling, could be a great option. No kidding. Okay. Uh, what's next? Savannah, Georgia. Uh, I've always wanted to go there. Yes. I've never been. <laughs> It's beautiful. Georgia is also a very tax-friendly state for retirees. Okay. Mm. And Savannah is full of such well-preserved history. It also has great southern cooking, southern hospitality, but also a very diverse culinary scene as well, lots of options. There's lots to do within Savannah, but if you're someone who likes to take a drive, you can explore the surrounding nature preserves or beaches. Great for a day trip or a weekend trip, too, because you can head over to Hilton Head Island or Charleston. Ah. Okay. Uh, all right, next is my hometown. Tampa. Tampa. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you were How many hometowns. I did. I, I, I was Mark there in high school. Mark is now claiming Tampa. I was. I was there in high school. Yeah, yeah, I love Tampa. Yeah, Tampa's great. And you know, Florida always tops the retirement list, mm -hmm. and for good reason. You have no state income tax, warm weather year-round. The Tampa Bay metro area, as I'm sure you know, has three very distinct cities, so there's really something for everyone. Clearwater, St. Petersburg, and Tampa. Mm -hmm. Tampa, in addition to its beaches, has beautiful gardens, really interesting museums. You know the grandkids and the kids will visit mm -hmm. because you have the Florida Aquarium and just an hour's drive away, Disney World. That's yeah. right. That's right. You know, it's, it's important great. to be the grandparents <laughs> that the grandkids want to come visit. 100%. Yeah. And this is a place I used to go skip school a lot uh, in high school. And go down Sarasota, to Sarasota. Florida, Siesta <laughs> Key. Yeah. Beautiful beaches. Beautiful yeah. white sand, Gulf Coast beaches. It's a luxury vacation destination, but it's also surprisingly affordable to live. And you can take advantage of everything from the luxury hotels to the restaurants to the galleries because, of course, they cater to residents as well. And over 40% of the population is over the age of 60. So plenty of retiree mingling. And Sarasota oh. has that really Beautiful powdery sand. sand. Yes, really yes, the key. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a break more with great and other unexpected places to retire when we return. Stick around. Hey, we're back and we're talking about great places to retire with travel and leisure's Nina Ruggiero. What's next? Okay, so we're going to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Huh. Okay. No kidding. Yes. Wow. Retirees can enjoy tax-free income on their pensions and Social Security benefits. Oh. That's good. It has a rural feel, but still a lively downtown. 
Mm -hmm. They host arts and music festivals, restaurants, galleries. There's lots of outdoors to explore. You can visit a local Amish community. Mm -hmm. Or if you want a change of pace, you can hop on the Amtrak and visit cities like Philadelphia, Baltimore, DC, New York. The opportunities are endless. Great pretzels in Lancaster. I heard that. <laughs> All right, what's next? Next we have Louisville, Kentucky. Love it. Oh yeah, I yeah. love Louisville. Yeah, so what do you I, think? I've got that? a real soft spot in my heart for Louisville. Yeah, I'm sure you think of the Kentucky Derby, mm -hmm. the Bourbon Trail, both great reasons to visit, but but there's also a great art scene, culinary scene. They get all four seasons, so I know that's not something you're looking for in retirement, but if you are <laughs> looking for that, um, with milder winters, so you can really enjoy the outdoor areas. There's a beautiful park called Iroquois Park, which has over 730 acres of wow. nature trails, panoramic views, an outdoor amphitheater, and a really friendly local community. Mm. Indeed, what's next? Next, we're right here in New York City. Yes! <laughs> You gotta have the budget for it though. Yes, exactly. So New York City is not for the right retiree who's worried about budget, but it is for the retiree who is worried about boredom. Mm. There is so much to do, and Endless. I think that's potentially why one in every seven people in New York City are over the age of 65. You can find endless entertainment, theater, food. galleries, food, you know, the culinary scene. You can there's public transportation, so it's easy enough to get around. Hospitals everywhere. Hospitals everywhere, yeah. some of the top doctors mm -hmm. in the country. Anything delivered to your doorstep any hour of day or night. Yeah, Excellent. it really is a great city. All right, what's next? Okay, next we have, we're going international. Let's we have do it. Costa Rica. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> we're really excited. We just got very excited. Yeah. We were like, ooh. Very green. Yeah. We're, very excited about this one because it's Travel and Leisure's destination of the year. Uh -huh. And it was also named the number one place in the world to retire this year by International Living. Mm. So there's many reasons for this. It has a wonderful climate year round. It has a dual healthcare system, public and private, that is open to all legal residents. It's prices vary, but it's generally an affordable place to live. Mm -hmm. Surfers, great beaches, but also really biodiverse for those who love animals. Mm -hmm. And it's home to one of the world's blue zones where life expectancies are the longest. Yeah, I like that. Love that. All right, let's keep going international. What's next? And now we have Portugal. So Oh, I've been hearing a lot about this. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Portugal is yeah. all the yes. way. Portugal's government has purposely made it really easy for expat retirees to settle there. So you can get residency easier. It's more, Lisbon is more affordable than some other major European cities. And we really love Lisbon because there's a major airport there. You can spend your time exploring around Europe. Uh -huh. A lot of English is spoken, but you still get that really laid back European way of life, yeah. all of the history, the beautiful architecture, great food, music. Town squares and cobblestone mm -hmm. streets and all of that. Exactly. Yeah. And if walking the hills of Lisbon doesn't keep you healthy and strong, nothing will. So. All right. Amazing. Well, pack your bags. All right. We're going to Lisbon. Thank Very you, Nina, so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. For all this info and more, visit our, our website, Travel and Leisure. The water issue is now available. Uh, water issue. Coming up next, don't miss it, a performance by John Baptiste. Thank <laughs> you.